Hey guys, as always, thanks for tuning in. So for those of you with a Pixelcade LCD marquee, got a pretty big update for you guys. So we got a bunch of new artwork. So big thanks to Ben, Kevin, Jersey John, James T, a lot of other folks in the community who've contributed artwork. You now get that automatically via an automatic updater. We can also do remote firmware updates. So I'll show you how to update your firmware remotely. You don't have to pop out your SD card anymore. Um, also completely redid the way scrolling text works on Pixelcade LCD. So I'll show you a demo of that with some high scores and some now playing splash screens. Did spend a bunch of time going through the code and optimizing where I could. So see a little bit speedier, not super dramatically faster, but you should see a noticeable improvement. Um, for those of you that have a Pixelcade dot display, I got some enhancements there. And last but not least, we did an integration with Retro Achievements, which at this time only works on Bata Serra and Emu Elec. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. I'll show you that at the end of this. So let me show you now first though how to do the update and then we'll do a demo of some of the new features. First thing you want to do is go over to pixelk.org and download the desktop Pixelcade software for your Pixelcade LCD. Now normally in future updates you shouldn't have to download the core software but because this is such a big update I had to change a bunch of stuff so we got to get this guy. So go ahead and let that download. All right, once you've got it downloaded, just go ahead and launch it. It's going to get the latest version of LED Blinky. So just let that run. All right, now it's going to install the main Pixelcade software. I did, by the way, have a bug in this installer. So in the past, on some computers, this would like take a long time or, or lock up your PC. So that issue is no more. OK, so now it's actually going to go and look for your Pixelcade on your network. If you already have yours paired, that's okay. Just let it run. So you see it finds it here. And by the way, this is one of the things that I recoded. So I made this a little bit more user friendly. And if it doesn't find your pixel kit on the first try, it'll give you some messages and whatnot. So that's, that's another improvement. But we've got it downloaded. So now let's go here to program files. Scroll down to the Pixelcade LCD directory and look for something that says Pixelcade LCD Updater. So this guy right here. Now, at the time of this recording, I haven't released the, firm, the new firmware in production yet. Um, I still want to get some more people testing it, but if you're feeling brave, just click this install beta box and you'll get the latest firmware. If not, that's okay. You can just run the updater. You'll just get the artwork and some of the improvements I'm going to show you, you won't have yet until you get the new firmware, but I'm going to go ahead and hit that. So do this, hit start. Now, if you're on Bodicera or Linux, there's a command line. So read the description in this video. That'll show you the command line for how to do the same thing I'm doing here if you're on Bodicera or some Linux variant. So we'll just let that run. Um, you'll see there on Pixelcade, it's going to tell you what's going on. So right now it's downloading artwork. This artwork update at the time of this recording is about 500 meg. Uh, about 3,000 or so new marquees, so lots of lots of new artwork in there. So we'll just give this a sec to download. Okay, so it's downloaded the artwork. Now it's extracting it to the single board computer that drives Pixelcade LCD. And so these are all the individual marquees. So as you can see, there's quite a few. So we'll just let this run. Okay, this is another feature I added. So it's showing you on the marquee how much free storage you have. So as you can see, I've got eight gigabytes free on the system storage and 19 gigabytes be free on the user storage. And then on this particular one, and now it's updating the firmware, I've got a USB drive that's got more storage. So just so you guys know, the way this works is Pixelcade has internal system storage. So that's where all these marquees are going to. Um, that, that right now, there's eight gigabytes free, so there's plenty of space for future expansion. 
And then the user storage, that's where you can add your own marquees. And you've got 19 gigabytes to work with. So plenty of space there uh, to add your own stuff as well. All right, so finish the update. It got the new firmware rebooted Pixelcade LCD. So you don't have to restart or anything. It did that all for you in the background. So that is done. Um, let me first show you this thing called Pixelcade Companion. So if you haven't used that, do check that out. It's pretty nice. So it basically provides a, a web user interface to browse all of the artwork. So if I go to Pixelcade LCD Marquee, look for Pixelcade Companion. And by the way, you can do this if you know the host name. You can actually do this from any computer on your network. Go to Browse Marquees. And you can just browse around. You can see here all the artwork that we've got. Let me start with PC. There's a bunch of stuff here. And as you click on them, Pixelcade, of course, will update. And so big thanks to Ben. He did most of these actually for the PC. And then Kevin's doing a bunch now as we speak. So a lot of great artwork there. In this update, I also added all the default marquees. So these are all the system defaults by console. So big thanks to James T. He did all these. These are really great. So he can browse those. As you can see, there's quite a few. So that's how you um, browse the artwork. All right, so let's browse around. First thing I want to show you is how high scores work now. So let me go to a game. I know I've got some high scores. All right, so you see the high score there. So that will stay there for about 10 seconds. And then once that's done, it will go back to the normal game marquee just like that. So that's a new feature. Um, if you pick a game that doesn't have high scores, I think this one doesn't have high scores, it'll just now show that now playing now playing splash screen. That, that will go there for about five seconds and then go back to the marquee. And those backgrounds, by the way, are, are random. I think there's um, maybe 10 or so. So if I pick another one, this one I think does, yeah, this one does have high scores. So you see there's another different background there. That's all uh, randomly generated. But that's a high score feature, so I hope you guys like that. I spent a lot of time coding that. All right, so another feature, and again, this is if you happen to have the Pixelcade dot sub display, is that I added the year of the console. So MAME was released in 97. Um, just Let's see, here's some random ones. So this was... Capcom Play System, that was 1988, it looks like. So all the consoles where I had the data kind of added the year it was released. Okay, just like before, if I launch a game that has a video, and it's now gonna do this, now playing splash screen. I'm gonna play the video. Typically these are seven second snaps or so. And then once the video is done, it's then gonna go back to the normal game marquee. Just like that. All right, so that's pretty much it for this new release. Um, last but not least, I wanna show you the Retro Achievements integration. Now, unfortunately, that does not work on any PC-based uh, front ends right now, like Hyperspin or Big Box. I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible due to technical things, uh, but it does work on Bodicera and MU Elex. So I'm gonna switch over to my Bodicera machine and show you how that works real quick. And the idea is if you play a game that has Retro Achievements, like this one, then Pixelcade during the game is gonna do certain things. And so let me just give you a quick demo here. Okay, so there's the first achievement. See little video plays there on, on Pixelcade. After the video plays, you can see the text of the actual achievement. So that's here. And then if you've got a Pixelcade dot display, the text will display on that as well. And then it'll go back to the normal 
Pixelcade, uh, the normal mar the normal game marquee that was playing originally. All right, so I've got another one. It's gonna show again another random video, and then show you the achievement for this one. By the way, you can go um, on the Retro Achievements website, and it will actually show you all the various achievements uh, for each game. So it's pretty cool. Look that up. But let me get out of this game. I'll just show you one more game that I know has achievements. And there's a ton of games with achievements, by the way. Like we're only scratching the surface here with these two games. Okay, so this game I know has an achievement. First one is when you hit a thousand points. So let's try to get that. All right. So, same thing, see uh, achievement video there, and then the actual text of the actual achievement. <laughs>